Hey there, everyone. Welcome to episode 12 of Merchants of Kaidan. We'll hop right in. It's been one hell of a day for me, I can tell you that. <laughs> My apartment, the overflow for our uh, cl uh, washing machine backed up and filled the living room with water. It was a crisis situation. I was there with like a mop and like with a bucket and going, <laughs> trying to bail out as quickly as we could before it wrecked all the laminate floor. Can't don't want the landlord to be charging us for too much, but I think we got it all under control. So after a bit of a hectic work day that was mostly co-opted by a disaster, um, we get to play some Merchants of Kaidan today. So we'll get right to it. We're at the tail end of winter here, and you'll forgive me if I just need to refresh on what we have to do. Because if I remember right, we have a thousand and one quests that we've picked up in parallel. And so, <laughs> it's crazy. So, we have all manner of people. Oh, oops. But it looks like the gist of it is that we have a lot of people who want to go on to the other side of the kingdom. And we just need to go to like uh, places near Oris and Vergoto on the way. So we're in Varag, so we'll just go up the coast there. And our cart situation is we're full and we are carrying carpets. So hopefully we'll be able to offload them here in Siltara. So we'll just go. Oh, another person wanting our attention. Okloda, the Bohemian. Stop! Wait! Take me with you. I'll explain everything on the way. Take me to Nar and try to stop as little as possible. Please. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Off we go. Oh no. We got inspected pretty hard there. Lost 5,000 gold. Okay, we need to start bribing. The hammer of the government is... Uh, Coming down a little too harsh on us, you know, simple merchants. Oh dear. Okay, nothing really selling well here. So up here through the horse end of nowhere. We'll help out a fellow merchant who will uh, buy hides for expensive in Van Holes. Alright. Here we are here. So you came. How can I help you? Yes, we do have a deal with the pirates. We smuggle the goods, hiding them from the king's guard's sight. Okay, I will handle transport and vouch for him. The uh, guy we just picked up in Farak is trying to escape. What? Van Tolod ruined his life? He's not the first and not the last one. All right, Tim Finn, help him out. We have to go to Vergoto, though. What's our luck? Yeah, 2.4. We'll, uh, we'll throw some money at God. On. Uh, he's silent. <laughs> Here to Virgoto. Found a chest in the bushes. Got a diamond. It's not as amazing as it used to be. Okay, do nothing. This is just a person tax, so. All right, we have a quest that we wrap up here. Ivo, the frail youth. You cannot imagine how grateful I am. He saved my broken heart. I would have not survived another day without Christine. Thank you. No, I hope it works out. Although she was just kind of like chilling, doing whatever she wanted. So maybe she doesn't actually care that much about me now. Hopefully though, I mean, it's a fantasy world. Can end, you can have a happy ending. Hmm. Carpets? I definitely blundered buying those. Alright, so we need to go to Nar and Asmor and Nordafor. Maybe we can go around, like, down here? Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. I'm a little worried that I'm gonna come down with a little bit of a sickness. I feel it, 
You know, when you're about to get sick, the prelude? Where you're fine, generally. You don't have any fever. You don't have, like, a raspiness in your voice. But maybe I do. But you just feel it coming on. It's a lack of energy. So, if it's going to impact the videos, I'll definitely uh, put something on Twitter if I have to miss my first day of recording. But I'll try to keep this one a little short. Oh, Concello. Didn't see him. I'll try to keep this episode a little bit short, maybe 20 minutes, um, just in the efforts of maybe conserving my energy, trying to stay healthy. Oh, now... Okay, a merchant is interested in selling, sending us all the way back to Varerg, um, but we aren't too interested in that, so let the quest hang. Oh, we can finally get rid of these carpets. Oh, that's awesome. And, um... We'll buy up the spices. Yeah. I bet we can sell that in Asmar. Pretty, pretty easy. Spring will be here any day now. Ah, hop on board, uppity magnate. Days for a travel. Oh, what was the voice for this guy? Oh. Ah, home at last! Seagull, seamen, and seaweed. The smell of my childhood. I guess I'll stay here for some time. Here's the gold. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Ciao, Umbriani. Nice. Alright, uh, see if we can sell off these uh, spices. Alright, we can do that. Make a touch of money. 71 for porcelain. I bet we can sell that in order for it. Oh, we bought out the whole town. Of that. Big pimpin'. <laughs> Alright, now to Nordafor. Oh, Magnet needs a lift. We'll give him one. Spring is here. Everything's nice and warm and cushy again. Nice change. Okay. A little bit of a Which one second okay I think we're back um, we need to give orders to ear cap and that's why we got stuck in Vesuvio because the port's unfrozen and so we'll see how that goes uh, we need to get a little bit of money even selling at a bit of a loss to um, set a little set sail so we'll sell, and we will go to Narheim. Ooh, better try to skip the pirate. Yar! Nice. Good job, your cab. Oh, darn. Uh, someone we were transporting, the Bohemian guy. The authorities caught up and find us. Good thing they didn't throw us in the slammer. Real life, that can be quite the offense to aid a runaway. You are accosted by a mysterious wanderer. He wants to join your crew. Do you want to accept a master wheelwright for five quiet day into your crew? I think yes. Uh, wheelwright, if I'm not mistaken, fixes your carts along the way. So if we like break a wheel or, or, or break one of our carts, he'll actually just fix it for free. And so assuming that'll happen maybe every month or two, he pays off pretty well. So we'll, we'll bring him on board. All right, and here in Nordafor, hopefully you'll be able to sell off the stuff. Yes, 25 kwa each. That's what I like to see. But uh, I thought we had a quest here. Wasn't there someone wanting to go? Oh, it's Van Hoes that he wanted, not Nordafor. Wonder how I mixed that one up. Hmm. We'll invest in a bit of luck. 
Alright, well we need to get to Van Hall's in 8 days, and I'm not sure we can do that by car. But we can do it by air travel. So, we'll figure on doing that and see if we can get something kind of cheap here. Hmm. Not seeing much though. We might just have to go straight there, so we'll, we'll just do that. And hopefully be able to speak in a funny voice with all the quests and the open van halls. <laughs> but we should be arriving with our captain. Oh! Uh, a bit of a storm by our airship. We'll change course, but oh darn. Still caught up with us, so one day longer. But we arrive in Narheim with uh, Irgab. Ooh, a quest. Klaska, the minstrel. How can I live with such strangling laws? I can't stay here. One forces you to duel with him, he turns out to be a wimp and bleeds to death. So, was I supposed to be put on the skewer? I wish to sail with you to Fresta. Is 2500 quite enough? Fresta's a long ways away. It doesn't hurt us to uh, accept the fair, and we can maybe go th to Presta a little slowly. He probably just wants to leave town anyways, right? Like, doesn't really care so much where, I know. Alright, um, our cargo space is cheap, so we'll wait f to sell off the porcelain, because it's not selling very well here. Yeah, Narham's definitely a sell environment. So we'll go to Vergoto across the way. We're gonna give a bribe. Oh, what you just did was wrong. I will not report your attempt at bribery. Yeah, we lose four quai. And the bribe. <laughs> Hypocrite. All right. Um, 70 for jewelry. That's not actually that good though, is it? Um, the CUI bug again. Oh man, maybe. I quite dislike this uh, UI glitch. You can't look at your history as a result of it, you know? No good, no good. Uh, oh, carpet's for 59, we can do that. I can't wait until we can fill our hold without going absolutely broke. Let's, uh, let's sell a couple units so we can travel. We go to Siltara. I bet they're buying carpets. We arrive in Van Hose. Okay. A job well done. Thank you, stranger. You've been a much help to our city. Here's your reward. Farrell. You're welcome, Jinx. Oh! I think that's a letter of free conduct, which is one of the four, uh, one of four that we need to collect for our uh, merchant skill quest. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, the polo, the merchant. Dear God, so the bloody madman sent you? He talks to wood and metal. He's insane. Beware. Though he pays well, that's true. Anyway, take the goddamn barrel and get away from here. I've had enough trouble already. I'm just suspicious about that. Okay, we can do one of these uh, cheap B trades, but we'll definitely do it. We could probably have been wiser about it, but I'm just hungry to make some money. We've been hit pretty hard on our carts. Uh, this, this episode. Got hit by a huge tax, had to go all over. Oh well. Um, I'm not impressed by the spices here, to be honest. But they're about the best thing. Yeah. Let's not say we did. But maybe there's uh, something cool in the canter. We still need to find something really valuable for uh, the shaman. Let's see here at the university. Air navigation. Ooh. A spyglass. 
a masterpiece created by engineers from the Naval Academy. Only a few prototypes exist. A carefully aligned set of high-quality lenses magnifies the image of whatever you point it at as if you were standing much closer. An invaluable asset on the sea, it increases the likelihood of noticing dragons, storms, and patrol ships before they can see you. That'll pay off in the long run. We'll do it. Um, oh yeah, and let's uh, look at our specialists. We know we have the sergeant, but I want to make sure and see what the wheel wreck does. Okay, yeah, he does uh, fixed carts, just like uh, I expected. Our daily go is uh, 20 quai a day. That's not too bad. All right, so um, how about this? We'll go and get to that guy who's uh, needing the quest. So we need to get to Farag, and we need to acquire the stone mask from the uh, guy in Rishan. So we'll go to Farag, and then we'll hunt around for um, the thing we need. The thing we need. So we'll go to uh, Siltara. Well, let's, uh, let's pop into Dunlar on the way. I imagine they'll have something there cheap. Alright, here in Dunlar. Um, Alright, so carpets were 65. We've learned our lesson. We don't want to be carrying them around for too expensive for too long. Um, oh gee, I guess... Carpet? We'll try that out. We might regret it, but we'll see. Can we train anyone here? Nah. And we'll hire a mercenary. We still have in mind the goal of um, clearing out uh, a ruin. But I think... Ah oh yeah, Irkab is in Siltara, so we can kind of spy and see what they're wanting there. Clothes will sell okay if we get there in time. That's excellent news. Uh, his carpets are not going to though. He has carpets at 59 and 88. If he comes to Dunlar, uh, yeah he's not gonna make much money here either. Well we know that our carts want to go to Siltara, so we'll carry on to there. And he'll just have to figure it out. Maybe go to uh, Narheim. They often uh, buy at a good price. Oh, he ran into the seasonal salmon migration. We got 35 food though, so that's good by us. Okay, yes. Three margin, it's not the best, but it will do. Hmm. Spring might actually be my least favorite season in this game. Because I think there's just... Maybe we're just not in the right spots to really uh, make good money. Oh well, we'll go over to see Devarag and finish off this quest. And hopefully Irikab can unload his goods in uh, Narheim. Oh, Copernicus, inventor. Just in time. My experience can commence. Here, take the gold and don't disturb me. Oh, and thank you. Alright. That was an okay payout. It's feeling the multi thousand dollar gold rewards are feeling a lot smaller now, though. Maybe. Maybe quests in this game become less important. Or maybe they just seem so important early on in the game. But we should definitely like be looking for more large source of income. So like definitely growing our carts, maybe uh, starting up our own businesses with like a winery or maybe like a bordello or whatever, massage parlor as it's called. Maybe we can go in that direction as we continue the playthrough. The quest hopping can be kind of 
underwhelming for how much effort it takes. It's more just a little bonus that comes on top of places we're already going, coming to find. But it did lead us to this excellent spice uh, price. Spice price. Spice price, spice price, spice price. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Tongue twister if I've ever heard one. <laughs> um, what kind of academy do they have here? We can get a water bed. We'll wait on that just a little bit. Um, hmm. Yeah, we have a bunch of good spices, but we still have a lot of space in our inventory. I would love to fill it up with something. Hmm. But we won't. Oh, and we, ne ne we neglected to do our uh, ice uh, exploration. We were a little bit too busy. We didn't, I didn't really see any good ice prices. But we got those ice chests last episode. And I had hoped to like buy, buy a little ice and just see what's up with that. We'll do it next winter. All right, here in Narheim, we better sell. Okay, free food sells pretty well. <laughs> um, and three march and on about a thousand carpets. Not very impressive amount of money, but they have very cheap spices here. Oh, and we can sell the porcelain for an all right bit too. So we'll load up on as many spices as we can afford and go across the river to Vergoto, where I imagine it'll be quite lucrative. Or cross your fingers though. And if they try to tax us, we're definitely going to bribe. You have no, has no qualms about uh, being shady. Ooh. In accordance with the king's edict, you have to pay a tax for all the luxurious goods you're carrying. It's like I'm psychic, and I can tell when they're going to do it. If we get taxed on spices, which are basically the definition of luxurious good, maybe other than jewelry, we're owned. So we'll give the largest bribe we can, 200, but it should be much less than the, like the 4,000 or whatever it'll cost us if we don't. Found a chest over here at Illuvian's and found the... I, oh, and they're taxing us too. We're carrying spices too, so we'll... Ta oh, no. We didn't accept the bribe. 8,000 Kwai lost. Oh, my heart. My heart. It hurts. Oh, no. That's dreadful. Okay, well, at least Eric had made it through. They could sense the money. They just, like, they were sleeping in, like, the guardhouse and, like, money? 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 And they got us. Carpets for 55, though. Your ear caps. You can definitely do that. Now let's just go just straight to Narheim. Do some day trading. Like I said before, uh, in my other game, uh, in that game I had a man named uh, Zardoz as my captain. And he just stayed in this area of the world all the time. <laughs> okay. I think we still, we at least washed, like, maybe made it even after that hefty tax. Ugh, that was, that was really bad. Oh well, it's in the past. How about we see if we can get anything cool here No. buy a massage parlor. Maybe not just yet. Who's in the tavern? A oh, merchant guy. Come on in. Um, uh, so let's see, we have... Uh, five carts. And 23 men <laughs> with a sergeant. Oh no, 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 we have 10 men. So we have five men and a sergeant. Um, I want to have maybe about 12 mercenaries before we go down into a place and to try to clear it out. So let's go overland to Ranta. We, we don't go there very often. Here in Narheim, we're about to make bank, hopefully? 
Oh yeah, 5,000 profit total. It's not bad. 65 for spices. Really needs to fix this UI glitch. Okay, in Vergoto, spices are selling for 77. All right, we'll try to make it across again without the uh, border dogs taking all our money. Yeah, just make it quick, quick hop. Another bush, another diamond. Uh, we'll give a bribe. Bribe, 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 bribe to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the bribe song. <laughs> I'll need to break that out into a different video. And just have it on the channel. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wait. Do we have a separate luck as Eercab? It looks like we do. It never occurred to me in any other game uh, that that might be the case. Ooh, urban spices. Uh, this isn't illicit goods, it's oregano. Okay. <laughs> I'll sell, sell it off. 89 margin, that's fine. Pays for the uh, cards that we were uh, buying. Carpets are pretty nice here. 55. 55 is about the lowest I ever find carpets without some kind of special deal. And it's not bitten us in the butt yet. We'll go to Narheim again. Keep it a little bit... Keep that nice and straightforward. Hopefully, um... We'll be able to find one of those letters. We only have one out of the four so far. And I really kind of want to keep the momentum on ranking up high, you know, that way the series can go quicker and we can reach our goal faster. But I don't think we're going to do it this episode. Um, and it looks like we've kind of exhausted the arbitrating between Narheim and Vergoto. So we'll go to Sultara with him and end our episode in Overos. Okay. Let's see, any good trades here? Nah, that's a natural point to end the episode though, I think. We're running on 30 minutes here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, different ways to do these episodes. Like, I think as the game goes on, more and more of it is about the actual brunt of the trading more than the actual quest running. And so the footage ends up being more going going town to town, just trading. And I'm wondering to what extent I should fast forward between events. So if you have any feedback there, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, if you prefer seeing the minutia, or if you would like me to just kind of go from highlight to highlight and cover more ground. So any feedback there would be awesome. Uh, it could go either way. I, I like playing, uh, just the only question is how, what kind of format you might prefer it in. So, have an amazing day. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. They were sleeping in like the guardhouse and like... Money? 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 And they got us. <laughs>